Mansfield, Thomas Lick and his beautiful bride, Delaney back there. Uh, that first time to Texas? Yep, first time fishing Texas. First time fishing Texas. Now, Thomas is on our pro team in Virginia. Tell us a little bit about that up there. Uh, so I'm in an estuary of the Chesapeake Bay, uh, kind of mid-coast, mid-Atlantic. Um, similar kind of kind of fish that we have there. We have trout, reds, and I'm excited to see what Port Manfield is all about. Now, Thomas, we were at, we just coming off the Houston Fishing Show 2024, and Thomas went and fished with uh, one of our other pro teamers, uh, Chris Elliott, out of Baffin yesterday, and had a pretty good day. Yeah, it's yeah. An excellent day. All focused on and targeted black drum, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> And you were successful with a nice black drum there at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we uh, we went out looking for a big bite, and last fish of the day, we managed to stick a good one. It was 28, 28, probably about six and a half pounds. Nice 28 inch trout. You know, of course they call me, and Chris calls me, and it's like set the bar because Thomas is fishing with me today. <laughs> so we're probably gonna struggle. Um, but anyway, the pressure's on and that's okay. We've got uh, perfect conditions, really. It's a, it's, it's a high, we have a little bit of high pressure, but as far as the water temperature is concerned, it's right where we want it to be. Water level is perfect where we're going. I, there's fish there. We're going to be working potholes. Um, uh, we might have some floating grass that we're going to have to work through, but we'll manage it. And uh, hopefully be 28 today, which is a tough task, <laughs> to say the least. Any day trying to be the 28 at the tough pass. There's just not that many of them out there. Uh, but I'm glad you got the fish baffin and now you're in Port Mansfield and then Thomas and Delaney are gonna fly back to Virginia uh, tomorrow yep. out of Harlingen. And we're really happy that he was able to, you know, and basically it's, a, it's kind of a little mini vacation for you, right? Absolutely. Is that what y'all titled this? Yeah, that's, that's kind of what we were going for. Yeah, he does real good up there, y'all. Uh, see him on social media he's got the good pose with the fish um, it's kind of his it's your, that's your signature pose really I think yeah did you, it's did kind you, of now, did you do that yesterday with that fish or did you I did like no <laughs> Chris gave me some pointers I had to get the Texas hold in there so yeah he gave me some pointers all right well we're gonna go out and give it give it a run today um, hopefully we get on a good bite well, I'm, I'm confident we're gonna see some good fish and then hopefully we can seal the deal, get us a red or two, and go eat it tonight at one of the local restaurants. That's awesome. really, a, that's the full package. The Port Mansfield experience. The full package, buddy. Uh, and other than that, I'll be fishing all week and uh, see how this uh, week unfolds. But today, we're going for it, buddy. Thanks for Roll. being down here, Thomas. Absolutely, thanks for having me, guys. You got it. So if you can if you can make a good cast, both of y'all, Delaney and Thomas, in a pothole, then just pause it. Okay. And if you can identify a pothole, that's where it's been really, really key. And as of late, they haven't been thumping it hard. They've just been on there, mm -hmm. but they've been big fish. Um, so that's what I would recommend. When you, when you identify a pothole, let it just kind of flutter down in there. You need a pair of scissors? Lift her up. Check 
just stepped out of the boat. Thomas already got a good one. I lost a good one. Got a red. The fish all around us. They got a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Throwing this uh, field test in the darter, senior. A little bit bigger. And they have flat out been eating. I lost about a six pounder. Thomas got it. Thomas got it. About a 26 incher. Delaney's lost two. And we haven't even moved. 15 feet from the boat. A lot of floating grass, but we're able to get through it because this bait is going subsurface and the line isn't catching up on the grass too bad. It'd be pretty difficult to throw a topwater, but we can get it down with these, with these darters here. Nice red fish. This is what we're throwing this morning. It's a full size. We're still kind of tinkering with things. If we can cast it a mile, it barely sinks. And it's been working this morning for sure. First day using it. Have you seen it? So we just made a double back after we had those good fish early. Everything's down, there's not a mullet jumping. Nothing's happening, we have no wind. It's pretty tough. When you're running, you can see some good fish, um, some good wakes, but then when you settle down, it just they're just so scattered. They just, they just fan out once the boat settles down, and then it's hard to pick, pick up on them. When you're running, they're kind of in these little wolf packs. But once we set the boat down, they just filter out into the flats, and pretty tough. So if we get a little bit of breeze going, we might be able to get this water a little bit cloudier and they'll be a little less spooky. Then we can probably try to get them. We're having to throw big baits because we don't have wind, like this uh, big darter right here, and then the knocker. That's pretty much what we're throwing, just because it'd be so challenging to throw us off plastic, no wind. Um, Delaney actually is throwing a, a wiggle full size with a weedless willow maker jig head and she's able to get it out there a little bit. She's missed a couple of nice fish. So what we're probably going to do is just take a break, maybe get a bite to eat, and then wait for this wind to pick up and then reposition ourselves. Because the fish are here. They're just down right now and very, very spooky. So I'm throwing these big potholes. We're having to throw heavy baits because there's no wind. I threw it in this huge pothole, this darter senior model. I just twitched it twice. I saw the wake just smoke come from left to right. Probably a little red, but at least I saw him fly over there. No, it's a nice trout. No, it's a red. Two twitches with this thing. He wanted it. When I release my hand. It's a little guy, but it's promising. We've been struggling. We don't have any wind to speak of. The fish are down. The bait's down. Everything's down. Plenty of potholes. We got a little bit of activity starting up. It's midday, so we're gonna stay with it. There's some mullets starting to jump. I think we're gonna get something here in a minute. Optimistic. A lot of floating grass. It's been tough, tough, tough. But this bait is able to stay down below the the floating grass, and the line is able to maneuver through the grass. 
so you really don't get a lot considering how much you actually see floating in the water so that's not a bad thing we'll stay with it and see what happens Oh, the hook came out. Did it? <laughs> yup. Woo, that's a good one though, dude. Winding it down with uh, kicking ass and catching bass. Is that where we're at? Yep. Um, had a good good trip today. What you think about the Lower Laguna? Uh, it's it's alien to me, but man, it's you guys have something special. That was an awesome place. Yep. Completely different than what we fish. Yep. We uh, had a good day. We saw a bunch of fish. Um, he he took the cake today. He outfished us all. 
How many do you have? Three over 25? Yeah, three over 25. Yep, nice. Three over, we caught most of them on subsurface baits, um, twitch baits. Um, not a lot of plastic love today, not a lot of top water love. We had floating grass to deal with like a son of a gun. Um, but it was manageable. The fish were there. We knew the fish were there. Uh, we had good bait action when we first got out of the boat. Three casts in, he gets a 25. We thought it was going to be on fire and it baited a little bit. <laughs> bait and start getting tough as the day went on. Yep, yep, yep. But we're winding it down. We're glad to have him down here from Virginia, fish in Fort Mansfield. He's our uh, K Wiggler representative in the Northeast, I guess you yeah. know. You call it. We really appreciate you, all you do for us up there. Oh man, I, I can say the same. I appreciate the hospitality that I've been shown and, and just the camaraderie and the friendships here. It's, it's beyond my, my expectations from the fishing to the support that you guys have shown. And everyone I've met on your team has been good gals and guys but we're gonna wind it down here in Port Mansfield uh, we're gonna go and have us a little uh, redfish tonight from one of the local restaurants KJ is gonna do it up right for us and he's gonna be boy it's gonna be a good treat tonight my friend awesome looking forward to it all right well until next time thanks a lot guys